Alright everyone, what's going on? Today what we're going to be doing is learning how to set up a LinkedIn business page. Um, so if you have not gone on LinkedIn, you haven't got uh, people on your profile or anything, or you just want to go straight to the business page and get people over to your business page. So one of the first things you're going to do, you're going to come in here, come in the search bar, you're going to look in for a LinkedIn business page, cost or login, design, yada, yada, yada. Right? <clears throat> so then you're going to search for that. Then you're going to come up in here. You're going to click get started. And when you're getting started, you want to put in your company name and this email address has to be like, uh, say you're in real estate or you're in plumbing. Let's say Joe at Plumbing services.com. Right? So it has to have, you have to have an email address like this. If you have a Gmail like, like, like my own, like, like this, you're not going to be able to do nothing. It's going to tell you you got to have a real business email domain. Uh, so I should be linking out to that if you have not done that yet of how to set it up in HostGator. But right now we're gonna go go through all the steps what you need to do. Okay, so I've already set up my business page. Oops, that was that was for that. So I've, I've already set up my business page. So first of all, you wanna you wanna add in your name. Oh, let, me, let me see if it's gonna let me show you the exact steps no, it's, it's not but anyways because I don't have a different show you exactly but when you when you, when, when you first do it it's going to ask you for your company name and I believe that's it uh, yeah it's going to ask you just for your company name I see this is my profile possible Detroit SEO my my, my public profile and then from there, what you want to do is you want to add in uh, company description. You have up to 2,000 characters, which that is a lot considering, which is considering. Uh, uh, so you can add an admin. So if you want to add another admin, you would just type in their name down here. Oh, no, right here. You, right here, you add in a different admin. So it was you in like, like 10 other people really run the business, uh, you could add them in. Then from here, I would say direct sponsoring, have, uh, posters have been approved, their content, learn more. Uh, I haven't really messed with this feature. I, I just really got started doing this. So, so then from here, uh, you want to add in your image and you add in your logo. Uh, I'm not sure. The logo's got to be at least 300 by 300. Uh, so I forgot what the change image uh, has got to be at least 646 by 220, which that's actually kind of kind of decent size. Uh, the one you see right here that I have, this is my Facebook banner that I use for an, a numerous amounts of my pages. That, that I use to create Facebook pages, but that's a whole nother video. Then after that, you just want to hit save. And if it's too big or if it's too small, it's not going to let you put it in here. So if it's really big and you're unable to use the whole thing, then you're going to have to edit it and go on Photoshop or uh, uh, edit in software that you can use very easily. So next, what you want to do is you want to hit hit. Uh, public company, self-employed, government agency, non-profit, pick which one best suits you. Says, eh, best suits you. Uh, obviously, I didn't put this in. And you, you get the option to hit a company URL. Pick your industry. Mine's marketing advertising. Company operating status. Operating, operating. Reorganizing, out of business, acquired. So you just want to put the accurate one. When was it founded? And this is 
you're just going to add in all the information inside of here uh, your address city oops, city uh, your state or your providence uh, so your zip code country phone and you can move company page at any time if you feel it's not necessary other than that that is pretty much the process of that um, just want to say if you want any if you want me to set up your social media channels and if you're just starting a business uh, ours is pretty cheap considering what a lot of people are charging I figured I'd make this affordable for everyone but anyways my name is Paul Sabola you're a Detroit SEO expert and I'll see you on the next video. Alright, one piece.